Hey all, Syrup Dishes here, dishing you up some new content, and we have a Mossy Oak graphic shotgun skin, a vinyl wrap. You've seen me do a couple of these before. We're gonna put on a Savage Stevens 12 gauge shotgun. So let's check this out. We've got a heat gun. We've got a really sharp X-Acto knife. We're going to use rubbing alcohol and some cotton swabs uh, to clean the oil off this gun. First piece is we've got to disassemble the gun. We're taking off the back sling swivel, uh, and then we're gonna just rub this down in rubbing alcohol using cotton swabs. Now, I noticed that the barrel was extremely dirty, um, and so I did two or three sweeps on the barrel, and then I came over to the forearm, the chamber, and the butt stock, and that was a lot cleaner. I did two sweeps on that, and then I came back to the barrel and did more. Your vinyl will not stick to an oily gun or a dirty gun. The wrap for the barrel will not wrap all the way around the fat end of the barrel, and that's okay. It's going to be hidden by your forearm. So I'm gonna cut this in half here, and then I'll slice it long way in half, and that's for the fat end of the barrel that's closest to uh, the gun itself. And the reason you can do two pieces is you can have a seam underneath and your forearm's going to hide it and it's no big deal. So line that up with your ribbing on the top, start up there and go ahead and fold it down underneath. When that's done, flip it over, fold the other side. Now we used a $15 Warrior heat gun from Harbor Freight. It has two heat settings, it works great. Be careful you don't apply too much heat because that'll cause wrinkling. Apply enough heat so it starts to bend just enough to wrap it around and you can get that to seal on. Then take your last piece, you don't have to split that in half, and line it up directly where you left off. Start at the ribbing, wrap it around, and now you're not going to have the seam on that end of the barrel because it's gonna wrap all the way around on the thin end. And you'll probably have to cut a little bit off along the ribbing. Make sure your X-Acto knife is super, super sharp so that you can get good clean cuts. If you're not using a sharp knife, it's gonna just tear it. Use a sponge or a credit card or something to seal that down. And then you can head to the butt stock. Now here on the butt stock, these pieces are a challenge because they're universal and they just don't wanna fit perfectly. So once you get it sealed to that flat surface, you're gonna apply quite a bit of heat to be able to mold that around the corners and the bends. Uh, the more heat you add, the more flexible it gets. Again, be very careful that you don't get too much on there. Run the X-Acto knife between the butt pad and the stock itself and just slice that last little bit away. I like to run the X-Acto knife right down the center line of the butt stock, um, trimming up those final little pieces so you can connect up the other side just perfectly. There you see I'm going right down the center crease and peeling it away. We're gonna get the other side going, matching that up perfectly. Again, uh, you're going to slice down the middle, use that heat gun to overlap. Now anywhere where your uh, wrap is overlapping, you can just run an X-Acto knife over the top of that and peel away the excess. Again, trimming along the buttstock to get the last little bit off. The next part is going to be just trimming up any loose ends and one last blast of heat, taking out any wrinkles, and then you can start on the receiver. Start on the right side or left, it doesn't matter. I chose the right because that's where the ejection port is. Get that sealed down in there, apply some heat, and then you can cut out the ejection port no problem just cut that little piece out apply some heat to it uh, and it'll pop right off and open right up i applied some heat to smooth it out then hit your left side of the receiver matching up to the butt stock uh, matching right down to the trigger guard and uh, then again slicing right down the center line to peel those little pieces away to create a seamless groove right at the top from there you've got your forearm and you're going to have one solid piece i left excess at the top because there's plenty to wrap around i put a piece of the vinyl covering underneath so it doesn't stick to my mat too much um, again you're going to use heat and if you go real slow and apply heat you can keep the wrinkles out of that as you go once you get it attached to both sides, you're gonna go ahead and just trim around that forearm. We left the forearm on for this. You could take it off. It works fine to leave it on, guys. It's no big deal. 
Then you're going to apply a generous amount of heat using a sponge, your fingers, or here we have a pot scrubber. You could also use a credit card to work that down in those grooves. Watch for air pockets. You can poke those with a pin, and then you can see your barrel slides right, right down in there, and now you have a camo shotgun. Hope you enjoyed this video.